Hello traders, uh, hello traders, uh, the title of this video is uh, how to combine a triangle chart pattern with the RSI indicator. How to combine a triangle chart pattern with uh, the RSI indicator. All right. So I have here on my chart uh, the RSI period 14 the relative strength index indicator period 14 and we are on the monthly chart the financial instrument that we are looking at is uh, equity brands the epic is uh, alpha yankee indian uh, this is uh, a russell 2000 uh, component all right equity brands belonging to the technology sector, all right? So we want to combine a triangle chart pattern with the RSI. So the first thing that we are looking for, we want the RSI period 14 to be overbought above 70 level, all right? Above 70 level or at a 70 level. And we want the price to be confined in a triangle. But there is something else I want, you, I want you to pay attention to, the direction of the triangle. We want a triangle to be pointing up. You see the point? You see the triangle is pointing up in the direction of the prime. So whenever we see a triangle, the first thing that should come into our mind, a triangle chart pattern, the first thing that should come into our mind is a warning, all right? A warning that anything is possible, that we are likely to see either a continuation or a reversal. But for this strategy, as you can see, if we have a bullish, hole, I will draw another line up here. Uh, if you have a bullish uh, price action that is uh, ending with uh, a, a point in a triangle, a rising triangle like this, and the RSI is overbought, we will be expecting a reversal. So as you can see here, the price uh, did uh, pop out of the triangle as the bearish move down, and then he try to retest it. That's the bullish candle here. And after those two candles, bar, we have what we call a bearish a trading setup. And traders are responding right now as I'm speaking to you, and they are selling this stock. That's why this month of December is looking bearish. So what you need to look for is a price going up, a bullish trend in place, and then at the end of the, uh, somewhere at the top of the bullish trend, we see a triangle that is pointing up. All right. So a triangle is a warning telling us that anything is possible if the price pop below it like this. All right. And then he try to retest it as he did here, break below, trying to retest it. After the second candlestick bar is closed, we have a bearish, beautiful, gorgeous trading setup. Therefore, we must implement a top-down trading method, okay, to trade it like a pro. All right? We can apply this strategy on a monthly chart, on a weekly chart, on a quarterly chart, on a yearly chart. You may see it sometime on a two-hour time frame or four-hour time frame. Especially on a four-hour time frame, you may see that sometime because the four-hour time frame is uh, correlated to the weekly chart, and sometimes you may see it on a four-hour time frame. You may also notice this on a on a daily chart sometimes, uh, but you need to be careful. If you are using it on a four-hour time frame and a daily chart, be careful. Be careful, all right? Because uh, you are looking at a portion of a price action. That's why I'm trying to, okay, all right? To, 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 to say to traders that they should use instead monthly chart, quarterly chart, and a yearly chart, all right? So this is what's going on here, right here now. Okay, so here we are. So as it is now, we draw a line at the, at the high of the second candlestick bar, this one here. And also at the low, you see now? Okay, and then we draw one line at the median line, okay? So we break, the, so this is the candlestick bar, it came down. Well, and then we test, we have a barely trading setup. <coughs> yeah, as we, if you receive a sell signal at a high and we are selling it down, 
watch out for the median line of uh, this candlestick back here okay as it is now you see break below it the what we will prefer if the market is uh, allows it all right is to retest that media line in january something like that or even go a little bit above it before we sell it down again all right so look out for this trading uh, uh strategy it's about combining a a a triangle chart pattern with the rsi indicator all right rsi period 14 is overbought all right and the price is confined in a rising a triangle as you can see here all right if the financial instrument pop out below it and then try to retest it after the second candlestick bar is closed we have a bearish uh, trading setup this is a combination of uh, the overbought rsi and the price action because the warning that the price is giving us is that the, the, anytime you see a triangle is a warning but for traders that understand the area where we talk about the ending a diagonal do you remember that the ending diagonal is the loudest warning so if you don't know about the ending diagonal you can use two search ending diagonal by two four digit two digit four elliot waves in plural uh, youtube channel okay ending diagonal by two four elliot waves youtube channel and you will watch a video about the ending diagonal so you may understand what i meant by the loudest warning so as you can see we have a bullish trend okay so you see how i draw it bullish trend and then at the top of the bullish trend we have a triangle that is pointing up all right it's almost in the direction of the price action and then we the rsi is overbought but now we wait patiently so we don't assume that definitely is going to pop out all right so day traders if you see the triangle lady what you need to do is to look for an opportunity to sell on the on the upper side of your triangle if you see here so you see, as you can see the triangle has been developing here see anytime it came near the top people were sell, trying to sell it see they were selling on the on the upper level of the the, the the okay this is for day trading purposes but for swing trader we will allow it to come out all right but in one more thing i need to mention here is that um, if you perform a fundamental analysis and you the the, the stock has failed the google asset test that's the first indication to you that the stock has a high chance to come down all right if the, if, if you see a stock like this uh, after a bullish trend at the top of the bullish news you see this uh, a triangle pointing out and then you perform a google asset test you remember the video i posted at george Rio channel and it failed the google asset test that's the first indication that is under pressure has a high chance to pop out in that case you want to as it's coming near okay the peak of the triangle you want to focus on bearish okay a strategy but you don't want to just sell the stock you want to apply a top-down trading method to trade it like a pro all right let me know how you find this trading method as always when you learn something new for the first time or you never heard about it and it's the first time you come across it it's better to use a demo account to practice all right to practice 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 until okay you master it all right this is about uh, how to combine a triangle chart pattern with the rsi indicator all right i hope uh, you have found this video also useful and we put into use to improve uh, your rsi uh, trading we are combining the price action okay and okay the overbought rsi a, a triangle is indicating to us that anything is possible we may have a continuation if the continuation will take place the price will break the ball the triangle and find the support but if it breaks below it at the peak of the bullish trend we are likely to see more or price uh, okay more bearish price action down all right all right this is the end of this tutorial talking about uh, how to combine a triangle chart pattern with rsi indicator we wish you the very best in your trading and until the next time enjoy yourself 
and uh, be very happy. We are a TSTW24 traders talking about how to combine a triangle a chart pattern with a rise uh, with the RSI indicator. Happy trading to you all and speak to you soon.